four women have accused the Goldberg star Brian Callen of sexual assault and misconduct. Mad TV alum Katherine Tigerman claimed in an explosive report from the Los Angeles Times published Friday that Callen raped her more than 20 years ago when they were both up and coming actors. Tigerman and Callen first became acquainted because her father, actor Bill Fiore, cast Callen in a New York City theater production in the mid 90s, and the pair reconnected upon Tigerman's move to Los Angeles several years later. Tigerman recalled having dinner with Callen to celebrate a role she'd booked and described feeling disoriented at the restaurant after drinking half a glass of wine. According to Tigerman, she and Callen then agreed to go to a movie and stopped at his home above the Sunset Strip on their way, where she alleges he pushed her down on the bed and had sex with her despite her saying no repeatedly. Multiple people in Tigerman's life, including her husband and a close friend, confirmed to the Times that she had told each of them separately about her alleged experience with Callen. A woman named Rachel Green also claimed to the paper that Callen pinned her against a dressing room wall and forcibly kissed her in an American Apparel store in Pittsburgh when she was an employee there in 2009. One of her co-workers told the Times that she recalls Green confiding immediately to multiple colleagues about the alleged encounter. In addition, Claire Ganshirt told the Times about her alleged four-year affair with Callen that began in 2012 after she met the actor while working as a barista at a New York City coffee shop. Ganshirt claimed she did not know at the time Callan was married and that he offered to help her acting career. Ganshirt alleged that Callan once told her women have a, quote, biological primal desire to be raped, which Callan denied at the Times. Ganshirt shared that she sought therapy after her relationship with Callan ended, and she realized she'd felt he'd taken advantage of their power dynamic and 20-year age difference. The most recent allegation against Callan comes from comedian Tiffany King, who claims he offered her stage time and money in exchange for oral sex in 2017 when she was struggling with a contentious divorce and child custody battle. King shared her experience in a one-woman show she performed earlier this year, the Times noted, and two female comedians told the paper that King had recounted the story to them, while another comic claimed to the paper that Callan and King were never alone together on the night of the alleged incident. In response to the Times story, Callan denied all allegations of sexual assault and misconduct, saying in a statement to the publication, quote, Let me be very clear. I have never raped, forced myself upon any woman, nor offered to trade stage time for sex, ever. I know the truth, and I can only hold my head up high, remain true to myself, my family, my audience, and know that I will not allow the cancel culture to subvert what I know, and as importantly, what they know is the truth. Tigerman recalled auditioning with Callan years after he allegedly raped her, an experience which she struggled with emotionally, telling the paper that she was prompted to come forward with her story after Callan publicly defended friend Chris D'Elia, who in recent weeks denied multiple claims of knowingly pursuing underage girls. Tigerman, now 44, left entertainment in 2013 after suffering organ failure while in labor with her first child, a trauma which she told the Times was compounded by her memory of Callan's alleged actions. Tigerman explained how her motivation to lend support to other women with similar stories gave her more confidence to speak out, saying, quote, So when Brian's name started coming up on Twitter last month, for the first time in 20 years, I started feeling relief. Oh, I'm not by myself in this. I finally feel powerful against him. And if I can give that feeling to somebody else, that would be great.